Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss something, uh, some experiment that is done on pie chart. I like to call this as hierarchical pie chart. The reason is, see, this is my uh, category, right? Now, whatever the, here, whatever category I select in here, now that in that category, whatever are the subcategories, those will be shown as a as these uh, angles or uh, these chart, these uh, parts in the pie chart. Now, see if I select technology, I'll get the phones, machines, and uh, copiers and accessories. And if I select furniture, they will move, they it will show me what are the subcategories that are in that furniture in a pie chart. Now, how to achieve this? Now, we'll start in a fresh workbook. Now before that, this is Rajeshwar Rayapati and this is my channel Rayapati and I'll be, I'm, I'm uh, posting videos on Tableau and I'll also be posting videos on SQL that is required for Tableau. Please uh, uh, like, uh, subscribe and share and also share it with your friends who really are in need of knowing Tableau and if you have any doubts or any queries, you can put it in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, now getting back. See. Here, I'll just do one thing, I'll say stick category and I'll just take sales. Now, if I go here and I take a pie chart and I'll put entire view and I'll try to increase the size. Right? It's too high. Yeah. Now see, here, when, when I want to, when I want to do something like uh, what I've shown you earlier, it is. It can be done in only one chart, but uh, one pie chart. But here, for the demonstration purpose, I need two axes here. So I'll be taking two axes. Okay. I'll just uh, sort it so that I'll get them side by side. Now the problem is here. Even if I go here and try to increase the size, both of them are increasing. Now. For this observational purpose, some situations, I don't want this to happen. And these both are increasing because in this size part, we are having some of sales in size also. So that is why they are both increasing. Now if I remove this, and now if I try to decrease the size of one, the other will not decrease. Okay. So whenever you get such a scenario, just be careful. Now, I got this. After this, now I'll just remove category here and I'll put my subcategory in the color. Now you can see all subcategories have come. But now the problem is I put my category in the label. Now see all these categories are distributed. Office supplies, then technology of office supplies, then furniture. Now I want all of them in one certain order. Now what do I do? Now, I think there are many ways to do that. I follow this way. See here. I'll write a fixed uh, category sum sales. Now, fixed category sum sum sales. Now, I'll just apply. Okay, what is the problem? Okay, the colon is missing. That is why it is showing an error. Now apply. Okay. Now I have my fixed category some set. Now just see, I just want to sort this subcategory with my. See, when I'm sorting this, I I want to sort this by see. I want these to be sorted based on the uh, category. Now, before showing this, let me show you one thing. Now, here, I'll go to the next page. I just, this is here. I'll just remove this from myself. See here. Here, uh, I'll just remove this also. Okay. Category and then subcategory. Now, here, see, without category, we are having subcategory in alphabetical order. Right? But now, I put my category in here. Now these are divided, every subcategory, every value in the subcategory is divided as per the category they belong. Now I want the same to be done in here. But the problem with the pie, these charts is when you go for sort, 
on our dimension now when you select a field now here if you try to select category then there is an aggregation that is asked and when you are going for an aggregation that doesn't make any sense because we want to do that by the name name value but here we are going to, we are being asked to select one of count or max name so i don't want to do by that so that is where my lod comes into picture now when i say fixed cat some cell fixed which is fixed category some cells which is aggregation is sum now if you see all office supplies are in one line and all furniture is in one line and all technology is in one line now i'll just close it the work here is done now just for a sake let me just go for dual axis here okay now when i when you see this i'll just remove this category here now if you see this here see this whatever this is uh, bookcases is uh, overlapping over see it is it is between uh, furniture and office supplies this is because here in the sort that we did based on category this is applied on this and but here the sort is again different actually if i drag my category into the label now if you can see this is actually my office supplies but here my category that is showing is furniture so again i'll go here and i'll go to category sort and in here i'll select my field and then uh, where is my fixed cat some now if you see everything is aligned now if i remove here if i remove this label which is a bit confusing now see here this is the borders of technology so the subcategory is properly divided now here if you see this is the border of the office supplies and this is furniture okay now till now we got what we want right we got our separations but what do we want more now we want like whenever we select see this is one parameter i have created okay let me take uh, edit yes, just a moment yeah let me take edit now you see i have my parameter with the members of category dimension now let me write a calculated field now it, it is cat select subcat okay now see if category is equal to category parameter then okay then subcategory else category n okay this is what i want to apply okay now what i want to do is i'll just remove this subcategory here and i'll drag this and put it in color now if you see again the problem is everything is there, there are clear divisions see this is furniture and this is technologies and these are the subcategories now again i will go for sort and field fixed cat some sales now if you see see the furniture part technology part are right and office supplies as my cat parameter is in office supplies i can see the uh, what are the subcategories in office supplies category right but now this is looking a bit clumsy so we need to set this right now see i'll go into color and edit color here i'll not touch appliances and technologies the rest all i will take okay just a moment select art and press shift and select furniture all the between the selected now what is the color of office supplies this is orange right now what i'll take is i'll take orange now here i'll just say assign palette then the these colors will be assigned these different shades of color brown will be assigned here see here these are assigned now when i say apply and you come here see these are showing wait 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 somewhere the mistake has happened sorry now i'll just say control z now again uh 
colors, edit color. The only difference is I should have selected appliance till supplies and then I will go to uh, what is this, this orange and then I will say assign palette, apply, okay. Now see, this part is assigned. Now you can see different shades of orange here apply for different shades of different uh, subcategories in office supplies. Now I want to do the same for the others also. I will go to furniture. Now here my furniture is there. I will go to edit colors. Why is it not coming? Yeah. Now uh, leaving office supplies and technologies, I will select all of these. And what is the color of uh, furniture? Blue, right? So I will go here and I will select blue. And I will say assign palette. Now office supplies is uh, not supposed to be that. So I will just go here and I will say orange and I will assign on any color to that now I will say apply ok now see here I got different shades again I will come in here so which is this I will just take select technology and now the colors are changed I will go here edit colors now leaving furniture and office supplies I need to select all these and which is the color for technology it is red so I'll go here red and I'll say assign palette apply ok now see ok what is this problem why am I getting this ok let me again go into edit color ok furniture I have to assign that to blue and office supplies is good ok Okay, but there is some shade that shade problem is coming here. Now, again, I have to go here when I edit or edit color. Now, office supplies, I will take 20 colors and this I will take this. Now, see the both are. Same. And again, the same problem in here, but this is, these are adjustables. Uh, now again, I have to uh, change for the others also, I think. No, others are right. And even furniture is also fine. Everything looks fine. Now, let me come here. See, here you are, you are able to see these differences. Now, one thing I want to show is the clarity. Now, for that clarity, I will go here in the edit color and I will say select border which is white color. Now I can see, see this is my actual uh, pie chart which is with category and subcategory. Now actually this is just to show but now see, I just remove this. Now I got this now, I will just uh, in the color I will go to border and I will say none. Now I can, you can see my chart. Now I am going to increase the size of it so that it will be very visible. So too high. Yeah. Now when I change my when I change my category, I am able to see my subcategory values as a part of pie chart. So this is uh, this is about uh, designing a pie chart, guys. Now there is another way to do it with uh, set actions. Yeah, I'll be doing another video on how to do this with set actions also in the near future but this is with uh, this is to have uh, LOD uh, that uh, pie chart with uh, a I, I like to call this as hierarchy pie chart because there is a hierarchy that is maintained here okay so this is the video guys please do like subscribe and share my channel this is Rai Party uh, and also share these videos to your friends who you feel these are these will be useful and also if you have any suggestions, any, any anything that you require that you feel tough, just please mention in the comments so that I can uh, get back to you on those answers. Thank you guys.